Now if you watched a previous training video on how to import XML data, we're going to continue with the other process going the other way and saying we want to export one of these tables as an XML file. I'm going to go ahead and do the customers table. Let me double click and open it up. It's got the customer ID, the customer name. Now we're going to export this not only as an XML file, but we'll also attach to it the XSD file and the XSL file. Now in the previous training video, the XML file just contained the data as you see here, okay? The XSD says what type of data do we have? So we can find out, at least in Access, by right-clicking on the tab here and going to the Design View. And here's the type of data. For the customer ID, it's going to be Auto Number. For the, most of these fields, it'll be Text. And then for the Notes field, it'll be Memo. Okay. Right-click and go back to the Data Sheet View. And then finally, the XSL file. Remember, it transforms the data. In other words, it just says, don't just give me data, but transform it or try to keep the formation as it originally was in this case, the access table, where we had the uh, column headers up at the top and then the data displayed down below. Let me show you what I mean. Go ahead and close out of here. Select the customer's table and then come up here to export it to the external data tab, to the export group. Click on the more drop down arrow and click on XML file says where do you want to dump it so click on the browse button I'm going to choose my desktop and then click save and then click OK and then it gives me the options it says by default we're going to export just your data as an XML file we'll also check the schema of the data or the type of data that's contained in the XML file remember like text or numbers or auto number or memo and then in addition to that you can check the presentation of your data remember the XSL file is going to contain not only the data the structure but also the layout of the customer table where we had up at the top all of the column names for each of the columns like customer name customer phone number etc and that will be displayed in a web page or an HTM HTML file so click OK let me show you what I'm talking about close out I'm going to go ahead and minimize this down to the taskbar because on the desktop I have all my files. First and right here you can see it's .xsd, that's the structure file. Then there's the data file, XML. These two files right here. Well, here's the XSL file, which is just basically the coding that displays it in the HTML file, the actual layout. So remember how the table was laid out, names up at the top. When we double click and open up the file, there we go. It tries to keep the uh, layout of the uh, data where it originally came from, which was access. Remember, it had all the names up at the top for each column, like the city, the state, the zip, and so on. Pretty cool. Go ahead and close out of here. Now, if the other database program that we're switching this data over to can accept this, then we'll go ahead and import it, okay? Otherwise, we could just say, just give us the uh, data here, which is in the XML file. I can right-click and say, open up with the notepad, maximize it, and again, it's just the data. I mean, the customer ID here, there's one, and then the close the customer ID field. So in between these two tags, the open and close customer IDs is the number one. So that's the first customer, second customer, and then the third customer, and then all the information down below in between their tags. And then again, in this file, if I scroll over to the right, as we learned in import, it's also tied to the XSD file, which gives it the data type or the structure. You can see it's linked here. So close out of that. Here's the XSD file. It's got a picture of the notepad there. So if I just double click and open it up, it'll open up by default in notepad. And then you can see here, we have the customer ID, which is going to be the data type auto number. And then we've got customer name. The data type is text. And then down below here, you've got the maximum length or value that you can type for the customer name is 50 characters. Then we have the address. Then the maximum length you can type in the address field and so on. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.